just got out here and it started pouring rain down on me. It didn't look like it's gonna rain all day, but it might. Stay out till I get soaked, I guess. It's only 40 degrees, so it's gonna stink, but I'll give it a shot for a few hours anyway. Later. Really been on the lures the last couple days. Here's another one. Just needs new hooks and it's nice. Who catch bass? Looks like a shad. Later. Yeah, it looks like a breaking point here. See, the fire rock tumbling down this cut bank right in here. Looks like a midsection. Would have been nice. Real beautiful material. Huh. That would have been a nice piece. Play that. Yeah, that's a shame the other one of these is not here even in that condition. It had been worth 10 bucks. They're Jordans. They're Jordan. 23 on the back. They ain't in bad condition. I bet whoever lost them was mad. Probably a $200 pair of shoes, I guess. Play that. Well, how odd is that? There's another pair of Jordans. Like a mile down the shore. That's different than the one I found the other day. Two pairs of Jordans ruined. These look like they were new when they were thrown in. Later. Yeah, it's raining pretty good now. Didn't find nothing but that breaking one. Um, I'll add clips to this. The water's really high. Um, I'll have to go when it goes down. Later. All right, check this out. This is a cut bank. The water's been up. All these flakes are coming out right here. I got a whole pocket full of them too. See the little flakes in there? There's a bigger one right there. It's all spalls. Look at all the little tiny flakes. I'll try to save them in case I find a point made out of the stuff. See it coming out? Um, it's laying right on the base clay here. Look at all of that flint. I saw more pieces there. There's just all thousands of little flakes of black Kashokton in here. Look, there's another piece. This is how you find, this is how I find caches. This stuff falls out of the bank. He could have very well just been all points. See right there, another big flake of, like black Kashokton. I'll get back, I'm gonna rake around in here for a few. This is a good little area here to pop something out here. I'm just using a stick cause it's in clay. See, look there, coming down on it. There's multiple flakes of flint right there. There's a flake. There's more flakes right in there. Just They're just laying in here everywhere. Been making stuff here. I'll get back, see, look at all the flakes. There's more coming out. They're just packed solid in here. I'll get back if I see anything else later. Look at these flakes coming out of your face. Look at them all laying in here. Laying right, tumbling down this base clay, and then they can set right up on the side of this bank and made something here anciently. These are all the flakes off the manufacture of an ancient artifact. Look at them in here. There's another bigger one right here. Several. Very cool. Look at that. There's just little tiny flakes, medium sized ones, the size of a quarter everywhere. Another big flake right there. Look at this flake. Man, if a big blade or something comes out of here, this is going to be awesome. I'll have to keep all this stuff piled up. See, there's more flakes. I'll have to save all the flakes. Imagine if I find a piece made out of that stuff. Holy crap. Probably won't happen, but I can only wish. Later. Look at that. That's all flakage off the same piece of material. An Indian was sitting right there making, see, it's the same stuff, all of it. If the, if the thing, some of the pieces they made were right in there, it's going to be ridiculous. But I only had a stick to dig with. I don't have a rake. I'll have to bring one of them back and look around. It's, you know, I've found places like this before. It's just hit and miss. There might be 20 points in there. There might be none. I'll just have to see over the next week. I dug around up in there for about a half hour, and all of these flakes came out of a spot about the size of this. It's all the same piece. It's where an Indian's making something. I'll have to clean them all off when I get home. Hopefully I can find a tool out of the same stuff in here. I'll have to keep coming back. I see a real nice brand new lure back in here. Look at that. Very nice. Real nice lure. Brand new hooks on it. I can use that. I see another lure. 
walking back. Uh, it's a little top water. It's probably a heading. It is heading baby torpedo. That's a nice lure. That's actually vintage. It's not a new one. That's nice. I mean, completely all the hook things are there. Be able to use that one too. That's a good lure. These things work great and for bass and fall. Two nice lures, man. Alright, I walked this. The water's still sky high. It's four or five foot over. I'm looking at the base of the bank, but that place with the flint coming out is promising. When the water goes down, I'll sift it more, see if we can't find an artifact. There'll be clips after this later. Alright, the river's up. Um, I've been in the dump earlier today, but I decided to come out. There's a few beaches I'll be able to look. We got some heavy rain too, so I'll look anything, any dirt exposed that got rained on. See what I can come up with. This will probably be a short one if I find anything later. All right, I'm up on the shore. There's a little flake right there. It's what you want to be seeing, but look. Look at a fire rock coming out, and the water's been over this, and it's dropped. You can see how it's washed. See if I can't find anything laying out. I'm gonna turn this off. I got a lot of looking to do. But it looks pretty decent anyway. Little flakes like that laying out. So you can see, look at the cuts. See, there's a big piece of, that's been held by an Indian. See, it's a river cobble chirk, all spalled open, laying right there. So I'll get back if I see anything. Later. The water's been up in here and hitting this, and there's a broken point right here. It would have been nice. It looks like, oh yeah, would have been a beauty. But damage, man, that stinks. Later. This is where I've been finding some stuff metal detecting. I'm walking back to my kayak. I missed this. I think it's a button that's right here. Yeah, the shank's right there. It's an old one. Wonder if it says anything on it. It just might, it's pretty corroded. Cool fun day, nonetheless. There's stuff all coming out. I see another piece of green right over here. What's that? Dear. Yeah, it's some kind of old wire laid out. I did one little shovel full of dirt out of there and got a breaking point. The bad luck continues. All I'm finding is breaking ones. Right there, it looks pentagonalish, broken. Too bad. Right, I'm farther up the shore from that breaking point. And I'm scraping in here on the base of clay. It feels pretty good. I found a nice drill in here, like last year. A tea drill, and I found lots of Mississippi and stuff. And I don't even know what else, tools and all up through this area. I'm gonna get this filled up. I'm just feeling along the base clay real easy and scooping up the rock. I'll sift this down. If I see anything in the next few screens, I'll show you later. Man, get another broken one. Would have been nice. Now there's another flake. I don't see nothing else. I'll show you the point here in just one second. I don't see nothing else. Hold on here. Probably a little Madison. It's got a serrated edge. Would have been cool. Later. All right, I'm back out on the river. It's Sunday. I've been finding stuff, but all broken. Um, didn't find much yesterday either. I'm going to go up here and look around for a while. Hopefully I can come up with something. This is a pretty good area. I find stuff up here, so we'll see. Later. Well, finally, I got a decent little point. Let me get this up here. It feels real good in here. I found one point in here on video right up in there. Like a stem front ridge point laying out. Um, but I got a little Burton point and it's perfect. It's like a bit of a cake thing. Um, I'm finding flakes of front ridge. I have a chance at like, in this area I found mid archaic stem points, um, Flint Ridge, Riverton, bur them little bird points. Um, I found a broken string town lance about 300 yards that way. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff here, lots of Mississippian stuff. Let's see if you see the point. It's a little addle addle thrown dirt point. About 6,000 years old, five to six. It's a Brewerton. B-R-E-W-E-R-T-O-N. 
It's right here. It's a perfect little point. Nothing, you know, not like a serrated Amos point or nothing like that. But it's a solid little font. It's a classic one. This would have been like a spear tip thin with an addle addle. Has nothing to do with bow and arrow. Wasn't even invented. It's just thin on a spear. It's a dart. It's decent. Here you go. Lay down. Here's this little brewer point. It's not bad, it's all there. Whole artifact. Not bad. Later. All right, here's what this point is. You can see here, it's a brute, and here's brute and eared triangular. You can see how it's a little different. Brute and side notched, you know. That's pretty close. But then you've got, yeah, brute and corner notch too, you can see. Could pretty much be that. That's what I'd go with on this one. Brute and corner notch. You can see it's pretty close to that. I'd go with that. Middle to late archaic, 6,000 to 4,000. So it puts it right in the wheelhouse with the pentagonals I was finding right by it. Um, so there you go. But what that is, another 6,000 year old piece. Five, 6,000 years old. Later. See what I mean about the nice flint ridge in here? Look at that stuff. That's Flint Ridge from Flint Ridge State Park. I'm at least three hours from the source of this by car. That's a piece out of something. It looks like a Flint Ridge blade. Would have been awesome. You know, the tables are, I see something if it's whole, it's gonna be awesome. It's a black and all mature pentagonal with a spur on it. Man, this is a good little pop. You see what I'm looking at? Look at, look at this. We'll look at this point in a minute. I'm, I'm almost sick thinking about that other barbs break off, but Look at this cut bank. The water comes up and hits it. You can see this is ancient Indian campfire rock in situ. Um, I could dig right into the bank here, but I don't do that. I wait for the stuff to fall down. It gets in this soup, this loose soup. It's like a pudding laying here at the base of this bank. There's much, not much current in this river because it's, it's dammed. And the pools in between the dams, even during floods, are like lakes. They get a little current to, to them, but anything that blows out of this bank, even in worse conditions, that's going down rivers, ain't going to be five feet that way. So it's all going to be in a line right here. So this stuff's falling out of the bank right here and laid. Now look at this. See it? There's just an awesome pentagonal. There's a spur on it. Look at that hanging barb. You see it right here? Let's see. Oh, it's sharpened off. A lot of them are like this. It's not broke. It does not break. It's a t see? Sharpened off. That's nice. One of them, a lot of them have this exaggerated barb. That's the part of the resharpening. You see it coming down? They sharpened that barb off. It would have had it eventually, but that's a nice point. <coughs> Classic Ohio pentagonal knife. Black Kanawha shirt from Kanawha County, West Virginia. Look at that. Nice piece. Later. All right, here's this little point. This pentagonal. It's black canola chert. You can see it's classic form. And here's other ones. 6,500 to 4,000. I'd say they're around 6,000 6, years old on this place. But you can see right there it is. Classic example. You can see how this one kind of has the barbs too. Um, but then you come in. Here's a whole bunch more of them here let me open this up I'm gonna put the stuff I found but you can see how that barb was sharpened off I know I got other ones in here that are like it um, I have one right here look at this now look now look at this one see how it has that exaggerated barb in the one that looks like it's maybe break off but it's really not these came off two different sites about 35 miles away. This one came from 35 miles down the river and look how similar it is. It's just that template. Like all of them look similar here. Look at the spurs on them. You can see them here. And boom, there's one just like the one I found today made exactly the same way. It's pretty nice. Later. 
and I'm still in this place. What I'm doing is I'm feeling with my shovel on this base clay. In any little pockets of rock, I'm scooping it up real easily, just pushing the shovel through that dirt that's wet and loose. No chance of breaking anything if you're careful. Now look at the shovel full. I'll sift this down here, see if we got anything. The, there's just fire rock laying in here everywhere and it's all windy and it's falling right out of that bank These are the kind of places I look for right in here. Both of these points have come from Might take ten minutes to fill your screen You just want to take your time You're looking for items that are thousands of years old and they're quite valuable I'll sift this down here with you in just a second. I'll get back when I get this filled up and we'll sift it down together. Well, we'll just do it now. See what I do, There's all, see all this dead decaying stuff? You wanna bring that out in the water and just float it off. I'm gonna do that a couple times. See if we see anything in here. I don't see nothing, but look at all that cracked up rock. You wanna take the big pieces out piece of hard stand, see all the red fired rock. We need to flake this off again. Feels good in here, that's for sure. I don't even see a flake in this one. But that's how it goes. You might get 10 in one screen. There's probably one in here. Um, I'm not seeing it though. I don't see nothing, just a bad screen. I'm getting this pocket worked out. I'll get back if I see anything here. That's all I'm doing to find this stuff. You see how good these screens look. I've got a whole pocket full of chirp too. Little flakes. Lay down. This place is loaded. I'm going to have to cut this off because this I got another awesome pentagonal. It's just classic. Um, just and I've been here like an hour and a half digging right around this root. Right in here. And you can see the water's up. There's usually beach clear out here where I'm standing. But you see, these pentagonals are mid or cute. Six, five, six thousand years old. You know, 6,500, I think, in there. So that Burton point kind of overlaps in time. Wonder if, you know, they're calling these pentagonals a high pentagonal knife. Wonder, you know, if them little Burtons are also made by these people in the dart to go along with this. You know, you gotta look at the types with the points. But do you see it? Looks like a good one. There's a little flake right there too, behind that leaf. Um, but right here's a nice pentagonal. Look at that tip on that thing, it's perfect. That's a beauty. Wow, two beautiful pentagonals. And that last one ain't broke either and it's made just as good. Look at that thing. Looks like Onondaga Chert probably a river pebble that mimics it but look how classic that is the pentagonal shape thickest at base thinnest right at the tip and other awesome piece what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come back in like a day or so and do this out because I'm digging under water and finding this stuff imagine if I have a beach where I can really get it all I don't want to mess none of these these are beauties look at that tip paper thin classic pentagonal shape just a smoker Perfect, too. You can see how this one has that same, see how it has an exaggerated barb on the right? And this barb sharpened off like that last one with that sharpening coming straight down in with this more angled on this side. Same guy probably made both of these five, six thousand years ago. All right, thanks for watching. Squirrel Master will be at the end. We'll get him and check on him when I get there. Later. I was getting ready to go. I thought I better look through the rest of this screen. Same screen. It's the last point. I'm digging right there. The stuff's coming right out of this bank. It's all laying right here. Another point in the same screen. It's not as nice. You see it? But it, it's a, another pentagonal made out of the same material. Could be a cache here. Right here it is. You can see this one's... It's... Yeah, it looks reworked into some kind of tool, like a blunt type thing. But it just looks like that last one. See the sharpening, look on the left side, straight down in, 
exaggerated barb on the right. Same material. Might be 50 of them laying in here. Give you something to look forward to. I'll be back. All right, here's these two points from the same screen. You can see, undoubtedly, with a good camera looking at the material after it dried out, same block of same river cobble, without a doubt. Um, this one's kind of used up. This one's real nice. Let me flip them over here. See, that's a nice point. Perfect, classic. That's a nice pentagonal. And this is a pentagonal, too. It's almost like an impact there, or it was just probably from use. But it looks reworked. You can see it. Two more nice pieces. Great day, folks. Later. Well, you know how I am. I had to stay a few more minutes, and I mean, I just got something that's just, oh, uh, it's more than a month maker, I would say. I think I got just one of the finest Riverton points you've seen. Two screens later. Folks, there's points everywhere in here. I got here at the right time. Back on the points. Haven't been finding crap, but I am now. Man, this looks good. Do you see it? I mean, it's a flint ridge point. It's going to be translucent, and it looks expertly made. It's one. It's top ten of them I've ever found, and I got a frame of them. It's right there. Let's see. If the tips here. It's going to be a scorcher. Oh, folks, look at this Riverton point. Jewel gray, pink flint ridge. Oh my goodness, this is a squirt look at this thing. I'll show it oh, with the good camera. This is a year maker for one of these. You don't know how hard these are to find. And I'm three hours by car from the source of this material. Look at that. Ah, oh, folks, I did all oh, these points right here where I'm standing. Oh, that's beautiful, folks. That's one of the nicest of these I've found in a while. The material is just insane. It looks like amber. Fossilized amber, but it's jewel grade Flint Ridge. Oh, it's a Riverton. It's a true bow and arrow point. Just a scorcher, folks. I was finding them flakes of Flint Ridge, and this is what it's from. Man, that's beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Later. All right, here's this point. I got out a flashlight so you can kind of see better. Look at this material. It's just the nicest flint ridge. It's just jewel grade. Really expertly made point. Um, oh, it looks like fossil amber, but it's flint ridge. Look at that concave base. It's just an outstanding example of one of these. Now you come over here. Here's what they are. Sorry, I hit that wind chime. Um, it's a mirror on point. They don't have much information in this. This is the Overstreet Guide to Indian Arrowheads. I'll show you the front of it here. People always ask. Um, let me shut this. Hold on. I'll show you more of these points. But right here is what the book is. Robert Overstreet. Um, not a lot of, but they're late archaic and they're true bow and arrow points. You can see there's one, but this one's nicer than any one in the book. It's just insanely nicer blaze them all away that's a good one now um here's more of them off sites on the river all along that area you can see how close some of them are to this um this is one of the nicest ones i found for a long time this one in this video look at this gear right in the middle there look at that that's a beauty look at these puppies that's the good frame of points. They're real tiny. You can see that's way smaller than a penny. You can see, look at my thumbnail. It's just the tiniest point. Some of these, this is this one here is like the size of Lincoln on a penny. See how it's all sharpened down. I'm way far away from the source. Just found this one recently. You can see they're all made of real nice material. Here's another recent one. But most of them are Flint Ridge. You see, there's Flint Ridge. Look at this one. Here. See, look at that material. How translucent it just glows under the light. Um, I found this one on video. But man, folks. 
look at that material get that chipping look at it. man well, that was a victory take a look at these other ones these are true bow and arrow points the earliest ones I can find those other points you know they're associated in this video that I find are associated with Attawattles and you know but anyway thanks for watching You know, you can see that point laying on a flashlight. Look at it glow. That's just insane material. Jeez. Thought I'd see that later. Alright, I just got back from the river. More breaking points. It's all I've been finding. But look here. Giving some strawberries. Look, he holds a whole strawberry. Say it's your new favorite. You can see the kiwi peels there but he's liking the the strawberries now tell him you love strawberries tell him you're a nice boy and you're you're nice look here it says this one's riper he's just woofing that isn't he man he didn't want me taking it you don't want me taking it do you look at him he's turning away from me you loving the strawberries? All right, folks, this is it on Squirrel Man. Hey, you getting nasty? Look, he thinks I'm taking it. All right, folks, later.